today is Saturday. We hope every Wednesday is off to an amazing start. Thanks so much for stopping in today, guys. All right, we want to start off today's video by thanking everyone who tuned in for Tony Matt Show and I thought so. Um, Kevin, you talked about, you know, being a part of your daughter's life. I cannot imagine not having, you know, Eric yeah. in Chase's life. Thanks, guys. Great panel discussion about the Thanks, state of guys. the black marriage. Everybody on the show was great. It was, it was a lot of fun. Give the rundown. Who was on the show? Of, for, for those who didn't see it. I don't it. remember the names. I remember Robin Dixon <laughs> from Potomac. Potomac what, Eric? Real Housewives of Potomac. Um, Mercedes Kaufman, who was the uh, counselor. Of course, Tammy the Mack, the host. Of, yeah. yes. Tammy Mack, the host, who was great. Mm -hmm. And the the gentleman who all the ladies wanted to um, get with, the single dad. What was his uh, name? Uh, Kenneth? Kenneth? Or was, was it, it Kevin? Ke it was either Kenneth or Kevin. Well, he was real cool. Yeah, he was real cool. Um, he was a single dad. Yeah. Um, and he was doing just a phenomenal job with his daughter. With his daughter. He had yeah. full custody of his daughter. So that was really interesting. And by the way, the video will be linked below. So what you guys will can watch the, the Fox Soul, the, the video we're talking about, our uh, participation in that Fox Soul panel. Right. So, so if you didn't catch it, yeah. just click the link. You'll be able to go back and watch it. It's not a very long um video but it was a lot of fun and by the way because you might not know what fox soul is um it's it's like hulu or netflix it's a streaming app so kind of like bet but you know it's mm -hmm. called fox Soul. you know to cater towards uh, the african-american black community um so you can download the app or just go to foxsoul.tv and pull up the Tammy Mac show and you'll see it. Of course, we'll have a link below. So that's what Fox Soul is. So it was Babe, a lot of fun. Were you nervous at all? I will say this. Uh -huh. I wasn't super nervous, but it wasn't like doing what we're doing now. Like what we were talking about is what we would talk about on our channel every day. Mm -hmm. But it's just when somebody else is it's, asking the questions yeah. and setting it up, it's like, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> losing the control was a little nerve wracking. But Were you nervous? No, no, you're no, because this is like you said, it's, this is what we do anyway. Yeah. And then it's not like we were talking about something that we right. are unfamiliar with. You know, we were talking about marriage and just, you know, the state of being black as a couple. Yeah. And um, so that brings me to something I want to broach with you, babe. So I want to know, um, what do you consider cheating? Like, um, right. I want to talk about, have you guys, what's her name? You told me about it. I think her name's, um, Super Scent. That's what she right. said. Right. Um, she's, it has like a makeup. Makeup line. Yeah. Makeup line. Apparently very successful. Right. I think it had something, it was, hers was like in the shape of like crayon. Crayola, or, like a Crayola. Yeah, shape, it yeah. was, it was very creative. Really, really neat. Some of you may even have it, but, um, Apparently, she caught her boyfriend, fiance, um, in a little bit of an entanglement. Um, so, yeah. if you if you catch them, because I think I don't know the whole story, but I think they said he hadn't done anything yet. But mm -hmm. let's let's give some um, scenarios. If you catch your spouse cheating, or if you catch your spouse soliciting, yeah, but they is, haven't gone through the act yet, you stop them. Is that cheating? Is that cheating? Is, is the, it the same as if they intent it? to cheat cheating because you could say on the one hand well i can stop it and there was no physical contact and then we can work on it but then you could say but the betrayal was there on the other hand and right I'm done. we say intent to cheat like is he is he willing is he actively if the person comes to to, to either you or your spouse and they're like oh I want to get with you, woo, woo, woo. And you're just listening to the conversation. They just they just came to you out of the blue with this. You know, are you guilty? I, or if you 
or like, oh, really? Where you want to do what? I think if somebody comes <laughs> on, you, I think if somebody approaches you, you can't help that. Right. You need to be like, I'm married. Thank you. Or I'm in a relationship. The wait, uh-uh. Wait a minute. The thank you, I got a problem with. Well, right, right. Okay. No. But now, if they come up to you and you start to flirt back, mm -hmm. we starting to cross the line. And they, if they come to you and you really are like, yeah, let's do this, then obviously. And then obviously, if you initiate, then yeah, yeah. But there's levels. There are actually levels. What was your, what's your perspective? Level to it. Um, if someone comes, let's say if someone approaches you, these people right here must have gotten in? their driver's license a couple of hours ago. Like, what are we doing? Um, I would say if you are approached, and then you can't help being approached. Like you said, you can't help being approached. But you better go ahead and wiggle your way on out of that quick, fast, too sweet, and in a hurry. Um, I'm married. Not gonna be able to do this. You know, we were watching that show. What's that show you watch? Um, Catastrophe. Yeah. He said. Um, on Amazon Prime. Yeah, on Amazon Prime. He was like, if my marriage had been in just a little bit of a worse condition, I'd do it. Yeah. Right there is for me. Yeah. That right there for me, I, I have a. Problem yeah, that's a good that. TV show. To, if you watch Catastrophe on Amazon Prime, it's like the second or third season. There's yeah. a situation like this. Um, and it's pretty funny. I won't give it away. So, catastrophe on Amazon. Like, how did you feel about him saying that? If my if, if you that if you had heard me saying that to some guy, that was if my marriage was just in a little bit worse shape, that was we could do this. Like, what? The thing is, you you shouldn't be married. If Why are you wishing your marriage yeah. Yeah. is in you know? A, I think too what that showed women are you and chris rock talked about this in a bit a long time ago uh -huh. women are very used to getting hit on and it starts unfortunately oh, 13 oh my gosh are those turkeys yeah they have turkeys now there's a house we're in the middle of buckhead y'all like in the middle of atlanta like we're in the city driving and there's a house and it's a big nice house but in their front yard they have goats and turkeys like in the front not the back on a main busy street why did you say it was a big, nice house? Like it, because it's not like, a, a, but it's an like old, a, ugly house. Would they be more justified in having? Let me put it another way. And goats in the yeah. front yard. It's, it doesn't they have. They used to have goats. They had goats. They were goats. Oh, the goats are still there. They're, they're, they're thrusting and thriving. Oh, um, it doesn't look like a farmhouse. It's like a new modern craftsman. It's not like it's a farmhouse and it's back off. It's like a new, just regular craftsman style. Look like six, seven bedroom house. And they're in the front yard, not the back, the front. That was a whole couple of turkeys in the front yeah. yard. Anyway, yeah, check out Catastrophe. It's it's a really funny, funny yeah. show. I and mean, what I was saying is, um, and Chris Rock did a bit about this. Women, y'all are used to getting hit on. And unfortunately, it starts when y'all are like 13, 14. So y'all are used to it. Uh -huh. And so I think a lot of you guys know you do the Heisman. Mm -hmm. Guys mm -hmm. typically don't get hit on as much. And then we're kind of taught and socialized to be nice to women. So we will take it too far oh and so maybe that's why you were like yeah if someone approached you you'd say thank you exactly or, because as guys we're like, gentlemen you know what i mean nice. yeah we're gentlemen and so if you're a gentleman you don't want to hurt the girl's feelings but i get what you're saying too like that can backfire you can't be too nice because then mm -hmm. that can switch over to flirting mm -hmm. sometimes you got to be firm and be like well like with the show you know yeah. he was like you know thank you but yeah. you know like so yeah. yeah and that ended up getting them in trouble when you got to watch the show mm -hmm. Um, on social media, you know, she's gotten a little kickback from individuals, other ladies who are saying, well, he didn't cheat. So we got to have some standards. And, I, and it's like thinking like that from some of us ladies is what gets us into relationships that are just horrible relationships. We have to start early picking up on cues, these signals that these men are sending us. Stop giving these dudes all these second chances. And uh -uh. no, he shows you who he is the first time, girl. Believe him believe him all right but yeah you guys have to let us know you guys have to drop down leave a comment let us know well a did you catch the little stint Eric you know what had? though i will say this because normally the guys are getting beat up on mm -hmm. and i'm well i'm not glad but the will and jada thing y'all need to start acting like y'all are innocent <laughs> Thank you, Will and Jada, for doing the Red Table Talk. Because we've done a lot of these times, and it's always the guys. The trash. Guys. So I'm going to let you do your little clothes on the video here. But ladies, don't sit up here and act like y'all don't get in entanglements. But go ahead. All right. Well, yeah. Guys, drop down. Leave a comment. Let us know. Um, and we're out running errands today. Um, but let us know if the intent to cheat is actually cheating inquiring minds want to know for me the intent to cheat is absolutely cheating what did you what do you say babe it's cheating 
Yeah. shout outs I wanted to really thank you guys here lately on the pink packet shout outs just to keep it a little bit different I've been trying to talk more about current events and things in the news I think the last time I talked about this whole you know fetish thing with quote unquote exotic women and how we need to stop calling women exotic um, on today's pink packet shout out I want to talk about two things that I think are related, and I'll you'll you know you're gonna say how are these related when I first start to talk about it? Are my glasses crooked? Um, but then you'll see what what I'm going to. So I want to talk about the homelessness crisis here in America and Kanye West. The homelessness crisis and Kanye West. So so let me talk about homelessness first. And what all I'm gonna say is it's getting bad. Um, it's bad here in Atlanta, and. As we've talked about when I do the Pink Packet shout outs, in my job, I've had the opportunity to travel to just about every major city in the United States. Um, you know, somewhat overseas, but mostly here in the United States. Um, you know, any major city you can think of, I, I've been to it. And it's like that in every city. You just see, and, and obviously homelessness is a societal problem that has been around for many years. There is no quick fix. It's, it's one of the most difficult problems to solve. But I see it now more and more. It used to be, you would mainly see homelessness. If you went to a city, it was mainly in the city core and kind of concentrated to one area. You didn't see just as many people. And now, you know, here lately, I've been mostly going when I go out of town before the, you know, we started quarantining. Um, I would mainly go to like the Bay Area a lot. It's really bad out there. Like I said, it's really bad in Atlanta. The thing that I see now that's different, and you can tell it's getting worse, you see more camps just dozens of people living in one place, living under a bridge or on the side of the road or in a park. Um, and you see it more out in the suburbs. Again, it used to just be, if you went to a city, it was kind of concentrated in an area. Um, I've seen some of the documentaries on like LA and Skid Row and some of these other cities. I know California is struggling with it real bad, but it's, it's every city. And um, it's just a shame. I know there are a lot of conversations happening now about, you know, how much funding we give to law enforcement. And I really do think regardless of what side you fall on that issue, I do think there needs to be more funding appropriated towards mental health services and, and mental health in general. You know, when we talk about mental health, I'm glad in this day and age, one, people talk about mental health a lot more. Um, my wife and I recently had to be, had the opportunity to be on a um, TV show, the Tammy Mac Late Night Show on Fox um, Soul that we'll talk about. And one of the things she talked about on that show was just people going to therapy and, and having great, you know, taking care of their mental health. And I'm glad there's more awareness in this day and age than even when I was growing up. And to kind of segue into Kanye West, right? You know, homelessness, homeless, homelessnessness, homelessness, I'm losing my mind. Um, the homeless crisis is directly, you know, related to mental health. And the lack of mental health services. You know, a lot of people that are homeless have mental health health issues. And Kanye West, Kanye West been Kanye West has been off the chain for for many many years. But obviously, here recently, in the past few weeks, with this whole announcement of running for president, we've really seen Kanye fall off the rails or come off the rails. And before, you know, it was kind of funny or you could just get mad at Kanye for some of the stuff he's saying, but it's it's not funny anymore. Um, the brother needs help and he needs it bad. It's, it's not even worth making fun of him. It's not worth ridiculing him. It's not worth really talking to him. It's, it's, it's interesting. I watched parts of that rally in South Carolina and I couldn't even watch all of it because it was just too painful. <laughs> And there was a young lady in the audience who, and I think she was trying to do the right thing, was asking 
Kanye like serious questions. You know, obviously he's given very ridiculous answers and they're criticizing, you know, how he treated her and how he interacted with her. Um, and she went on to make an Instagram or something, a video and basically saying, you know, his answers were trash and they were trash. And, and I get what she was trying to do. And I, you know, I understand what she was trying to do. But my point is, at this point, it's not even worth, ask, worth asking Kanye questions. You know, what I was always told growing up is be careful arguing with someone who's not all there mentally. Because if if two people, if they see you arguing, they don't know who the mentally sane person is and who the person that needs help is, right? You can't argue with crazy. And so at this point, why even engage in a dialogue with Kanye? He needs help. And I know there's a lot of criticism about and I'm not going to get into this about the Kardashian clan and if they're doing enough to help him. There's definitely some questions there. Um, and I know that's a tough situation for a family. I don't know enough about it and, and to be in their family to know if they, you know, what steps they could take. Maybe some of you guys do in the comments. Let me know. Maybe you've dealt with that. Maybe you've had it. Maybe you've dealt with that in your family. I know it's not you can't just pick up the phone and have someone get mental health. I know it's a it's a process. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Again, I just think we got to stop even he needs to go off somewhere get therapy get on medication and, and take care of himself and we need to just stop even engaging him um i talked a little bit about we recently had the opportunity to be on the tammy mac late night show i'm sure that's going to be in this video so the first shout out i want to give is to tammy and her assistant kayla um they were great to work with you know this is our first time being booked on kind of a network you know, streaming service show like that. And they were both great to work with, very gracious. And we were all part of a panel. I um, mean, the whole panel was great. I'm not gonna tell you who I was on the panel because the clips will be in this video, but it was just a wonderful, wonderful experience. So shout out to all of them that was involved, that were involved in that. Um, our first Pink Package shout out. Uh, the first one is to Cheryl I out of Converse, Texas. Thank you so much, Cheryl, for being a repeat customer. Um, Angela W. from Prince George, uh, Virginia. Big, thick package. Katrina J., repeat customer. I've seen her name many times from Pearland, Texas. Another Texas, Megan E., Beaumont, Texas. Speaking of Megan's from Texas, ironically, let me know. I'm not going to talk about it in this video because we'll be here all day. Um, maybe on the next Pink Packet shout out, Megan from Texas. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about the whole Megan Thee Stallion, um, Tori, I don't know how you pronounce his last name, Linez situation. Uh, Lynn J, Knoxville, Tennessee. Shout out to Knoxville, great town. Cooper C, Dearborn Heights, Michigan. I've been to Dearborn Heights. I've been to the Ford Museum um, in Dearborn Heights. There's like a historic village out there that's got like a historic hotel um, that I stayed at and um, yeah, been to Dearborn Heights, had a lot of fun there. Willis K, Dallas, Texas. I know it's hot this time of year in Dallas. Hope you guys are doing good in that heat. Pam T, Bridgeport, Connecticut. And last but certainly not least, Kelly B, Philadelphia, PA. All right, thank you guys and I will see you on the next Pink Packet shout out. What's up, YouTube family? It is time for another Pink Package shout out. Hopefully you're feeling blessed and not stressed. Let's jump right into it. The first one, Georgia C. Georgia is like the MVP of our store. Thank you, Georgia, from uh, Madisonville, Kentucky. We have Cheryl I from Converse, Texas. We have, and this is a heavy one. Now, who is this? Did you start? Did you start? I didn't really want you to. I thought you were going to be in the store longer than this that. This guy, you slide this right on over. Impeding on, Hi our, guys. on our personal. I know you all loud. Like, you know, this was our, give you the lowest our private time. The lowest um, Hi, guys, and welcome to another episode of the Pink Package Shout Out. I see you tried to go ahead and do it. How many did you do? I got through a couple of them. I guess you can help out. I was on Lynn J. Hi, Lynn. We have a couple of surprises in your package today. From Knoxville. Tennessee. You just sound so dry. Because you just brought the mood down. Don't you guys love it no, when I come back? This is like a this is like ten pounds of shirts. Like what's in here? Yeah. All right. Y'all see, Eric is a straight up hater. <laughs> Next one is to Kimberly V in Austin, Texas. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Kimberly.
Texas. I love the name of her street that she lives on. Obviously, we can't say the street name, but I like the name of it. Oh, I love that. It sounds very, it's a very Texas street. I love like, that. That's a Texas name. This one is uh, from our former residents, Brittany A., Greenville, South Carolina. All right, Shout Greenville. Out to Greenville. I love um, all the, the downtown area in Greenville. Yeah, yeah, Greenville. When we lived there, was did not have nothing. That. We yeah, did not have we that. we didn't live in Greenville long. We just basically went there to go to school. Yeah. But when we were there, there was not a whole lot going on. I'm mad in that they put that there after we left. Like yeah. we might have stayed a couple more years. Yeah, it, it looks that. very metropolitan. Yeah, yeah. Right now, I love it. Gina K. Fishers, Indiana. That's the uh, that's the first one to uh, Fisher. Yeah. Hi, Gina. Big, thick, heavy one. Sheila H. McQuown, Wisconsin. McQuown, Wisconsin. Yeah, hers is heavy, too. Thank you, Sheila. Thank you. Mary N., South Haven, Mississippi. Thank you, Mary. Can you grab this last one? I'm like, I'm going to strain my... I shouldn't even grab it since you... I mean, if you're going to be here, you might as well make yourself... start it without me. Useful. You're supposed to be my assistant. <laughs> Take stuff over. T T Tana H. Warren, Michigan. Yeah. Hi, Tana. I Tana like that H. name. Yeah, that's a different name. I like that. I like that name, Tana. Thank you. Hilda M. Mil Midlothian, Texas. That's a mouthful. Hilda M. Midlothian, Texas. Is that? Do we roll the R? Hilda. Yeah. If you're if you're watching this. Let us know if we're supposed to roll the R on your name. P-I-L-I-R-A-M. Midlothian, Texas. All That's right. the first one there. Yeah, I yeah. remember that now. We got more? Yeah, this one was a custom order. Oh, this is a very special yeah, one. Yeah, let me grab the, the info. That was custom. LaShawn S. Uh, Upper Marlboro, Maryland. Thank you, LaShawn. Really enjoy doing yeah, this work. Yeah, this, this was a fun one. All right, you're a great mom, LaShawn. You're a great mom. You're a great mom, girl. I love the whole, you got this, sis. You got it. All right. Um. Oh, just a little bit of house cleaning. Is it house cleaning or housekeeping? Housekeeping. Housekeeping. Guys, we, as I take a sip here, and have, I'm, guys, I'm still drinking my orange and my lemon water. But um, what was I saying? So the store will be shutting down today, tonight for a little bit of restocking. You guys have been just so, so wonderful at the store. Just, you guys are just amazing. And Eric and I both just thank you so much. And so we have to shut down for about a week or so just to get, let some merchandise come in from our suppliers and things like that. So um, I'm really looking forward to getting some new designs back out here. So I gotta, I gotta shut down for a little bit, guys, just so I can catch my breath. Make sure, just to catch my breath. Make sure, make sure you follow the Unfrumpy Mommy on Instagram mm -hmm. and on the YouTube channel. There's the community tab because yeah. when we do come back, there'll be a. That, that's probably where we'll do the announcement, mm -hmm. right? So be on the lookout for that uh, for when we're back, and you'll right. see the new exciting designs. Right. Yeah. So everyone who places an order today, and of course. All of these yeah, orders. all the orders are going out. All the orders yeah. are going yeah, out. Not, yeah. No worries. But you will not be able to make an order after tonight. This video will go up on Sunday. So Sunday night, um, I'm not sure what time, but. And if you want to, and you can still email us like custom orders, questions. Mm -hmm. The store is still open. Yeah, right? the store is still open, but so, we have yeah. to restock. And then unfortunately you got, well, hold that for me, babe. I won't say unfortunately, but <laughs> I have so many orders that I have to catch up on. And I really don't want to have to, you know, try to fill orders yeah. while I'm trying to restock and get everything, yeah. you know, back in. So I really don't have a choice but to go ahead and shut down. Yeah. You but know, we're still for, around. Yeah. Follow us on Instagram. Email us. The YouTube community tab. We're still here. So. Yeah. Well, and we're only going to be gone for like two weeks. Yeah. You know, not maybe not even two weeks. Yeah. Maybe a week and a half to yeah. two weeks. But I don't think it'll be two weeks. Um, I'll see how fast I can get everything, um, you know, back up and running. But you guys have just been amazing. You guys have been so amazing. You guys, as you can see here, are the reason that I need to take a little time to restock. So, again, want to send a huge thank you out to everybody. And so that's going to do it for this week's edition 
of the pink package. And I'm Shout sorry, out. y'all. My apologies. You guys, she no, I know y'all love when I come in. in. Also, oh, also, why are you so loud? She is so I don't loud. Know why I talk so loud? And then when you're in the car, <laughs> I do so loud. Ladies, let me know this. It reverberates off. Yeah. <laughs> Especially if you're the only woman in your family. Like, I feel like women have louder voices. Y'all are just naturally louder and more. Are you like the loud one in your family? Is everybody else quiet? Like, yeah, Chase you and, and Chase I are pretty, always like. We have low, deep voices. Yeah. And you're always like, ah. But here's the thing. I really think it kind of goes back to when I was an educator. Yeah. You cannot be a meek and mild teacher, especially where I work, honey. Get run over. Um, my voice is carried yeah. across the classroom nobody was ever like oh we don't hear you lies mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah. but anyway um this is going to do it for this edition of the pink package shout out uh i want to say there will be um you know what i'm going to do the next pink package shout out over on instagram oh. um because i don't know if again i'm restocking so i'm not sure if there will be another uh dedicated vlog right. or video right. so because for the orders that you have now because mm -hmm. you still have some in the queue. Yeah, I do still have okay, some orders smart. that are out in the queue that I didn't get a chance to get to for this particular pink package shout out. Um you guys know if you have ever done a YouTube video, you know, you got to edit and all this other stuff. It's a lot quicker and easier for me to do it over on Instagram. So, if you have an order, no worries. Your pink pack, your pink package shout out will be over on Instagram. So thank you guys so much. And yeah, that's gonna do it for Stay this edition. And not of stressed. And I the promise you she will not be in the next pink package.